Today I'm going to show you what can happen with the dynamic uh, contents if you're using uh, Crocoblock, Jet Engines and their uh, Team Builder. I had uh, a few questions why um, the Team Builder don't work and the dynamic uh, contents. Um, and I'm going to explain you what might be the problem. So uh, when you go here to uh, the team builder and when you view it and um, we adding it with Elementor grab yourself a cup of coffee we just wait all right, here it is. So um, you see that the uh, images are loading on the back ends. But when you uh, view the sites, then you will notice that there is something strange happening. And it is not good. It isn't good. So uh, it doesn't display the images on the right way. And um, it can also be that they won't show at all. So when we go in a cognito fenster and we go to the website, it doesn't look nice, but it you see there is no picture at all. And this website is not it's not uh, one of the most beautiful things that I've made in my life, but it's just for this tutorial. So um, you can try whatever you want, but uh, you won't get out. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is going to, um, let me uh, translate it in English for you guys. And then you can see so it's Dutch now, and I'm going to translate it in English. And what happens first is the permalinks. And when there are not setting on post name, then you will get yourself in problems. So that is uh, one uh, of the big troubleshooters. And um, the other thing is that when you install a team and you're using Elementor Pro, then most people are using the Hello team. And the Hello team doesn't work with uh, Jet, and, uh, Jet Engine team builders. So you have to change it in uh, Kava. And uh, the best way to do that is the child team. And when you activate it, then you will see that it's working. Then the images will all appear. So that are the two uh, most important things that you have to do. Um, the next thing that you have to do is uh, going uh, to the dashboard of Crocoblock. So uh, here it is. And um, to the settings. So the second one, as you can see here, Crocoblock Jet Plugin Settings. And you have to go to the Team Core and the General Settings. And when you're not using Elementor Pro, so the free version, then you got to choose for Jets overrides and then save it. And the next thing that you have to do is install Jet Plugins uh, Dynamic Data, data Add-on. So this allows you to uh, embed the dynamic data. So it's when you when you have bought the whole package, 
of crocoblock then you can of course uh, install and update but you won't see in this list you won't see that particular plugin you have to go to the to, to your uh, accounts to your uh, jet engine accounts to your crocoblock accounts and then choose for uh, the particular plugin I'm not going to show you because uh, there is also my license key but um, anyway you have to install that particular plugin jets plugin for the name add-ons um, you will also have to install the jet core if you don't install uh, the jet core then you can play with the teams because they won't be displayed and of course you have to use jet engine and um, I must say that when you're using jet engine and you want to make um, a custom post type it's not here in bliss because I didn't toggle it on but um, it's better to use the regular post types the old fashion if we can say that um, because um, it's not so a troubleshooter as the jet and custom uh, post types which which stores everything in separate database tables and well i think that i'm going to make um, tutorials about uh, jet engine because recently um, elementor has uh, um, reached up the building you have to pay uh, nine hundred and ninety nine dollar for thousand websites now thousand websites is of course a lot but anyway um, yeah we don't like to pay so much I don't know why Elementor is doing that and <laughs> makes no sense at all uh, because they're losing customers I think that's what I think but um, I'm going to show you how you can use the the free version of Elementor and uh, all the dynamic uh, settings that you can uh, use to make a beautiful dynamic website for for example uh, front-end posting uh, customers can uh, uh, make a front-end post and you can sell cars uh, houses whatever you want um, you know what I mean and when you want to uh, enjoy me with these tutorials then uh, subscribe and if you like this then give me a thumbs up so coming up crocoblock we're gonna dig it out see you later guys thanks for watching